The emergence of brewed 10 cicadas is almost here in Southwest Ohio, and people feel different ways about it. Cicadas are often viewed with fear or disgust, but while they are clumsy flyers and are definitely loud, they pose no real threat to humans, our pets, or even most of our plants. This video will bust six of the most common myths about periodical cicadas and share the truth about these amazing insects. Myth number one, cicadas will harm you or your pets. Cicadas don't sting or bite, so why would they land on you if they don't mean you any harm? Well, cicadas are actually kind of bad at flying. They might land on you because they mistake you for a tree, or they might just be hitching a ride to the next bush or tree. Cicadas are not venomous and are not naturally poisonous. If you have a curious dog like Josie here, they might want to track down and eat a few. While it's a good idea to monitor your pets so they don't snack on too many cicadas, if they get a hold of a few, they'll likely be okay. Just watch out because if they eat too many, they might get sick, like if someone eats too much candy. Myth number two, cicadas destroy plants. A lot of people think that with billions and billions of them coming out of the ground, that they are just going to go and strip the leaves off of everything they see. But all they do is eat a little bit of sap. They hang out in the trees, they eat some sap, they sing for a mate. The only minor threat that cicadas actually pose to your plants is if you have very young fruiting trees. So if you just picked up some apple trees or some other kinds of fruit trees this spring and you planted them in your yard, you might wanna wrap them in tool. That way when the female lays her eggs, which she does by splitting open a branch and putting the eggs inside, they won't do it on your young trees and possibly harm them. Myth number three, cicadas only come out every 17 years. Only super special cicadas called magicicadas come out every 17 years or sometimes 13 depending on the group. What we're used to are our annual cicadas. They come out every single summer. It's what annual cicadas have in size because they're very large meatball sized cicadas. Periodical or magicicadas have in volume. That's volume and volume because there are billions that come out at the same time. So they come out and overwhelm all the predators and things that aren't even normally predators eat these. Like M&Ms laying all over the forest floor. They get so excited, they eat them and eat them and eat them until they're so full they can't bear to eat another M&M. And the rest of them, there are billions left, get to go and mate and go carry on about their business. Why do they come out? And how do they come out every 17 years on the nose? Scientists don't really know. <laughs> Myth number four, cicadas are hibernating underground for 17 years. This is not true. What happens is after the cicadas hatch from the egg, they make their way down the tree and they burrow into the soil below the frost line, so where everything still stays pretty nice and toasty, nothing gets frozen, and they find a tree root which they then tap into with their sucking mouth parts. And they spend the next 17 years basically just drinking sap growing and hanging out. It is a great life if you can get it. Myth number five, there are so many cicadas, they'll always be around. Because they emerge in such large numbers, it's easy to get the impression that there are infinite numbers of periodical cicadas. However, some broods have already decreased in population or even gone extinct. Cicadas face continuing threats to their wooded habitats, like development and invasive species. Pesticides are another big threat to their population numbers. So what can you do to protect cicadas? You can conserve wooded areas, avoid the use of pesticides, and really just let them hang out and do their thing. Myth number six, cicadas have no purpose. Well, everything has a purpose, and we get that question a lot. What purpose does a cicada serve? So billions of cicadas feed lots and lots of animals. So if you could picture an animal you really like, be it a bird, a snake, a turtle, a skunk, they all will eat cicadas because they're everywhere and it's easy pickings. They also, as babies, nymphs, will aerate the soil because they're moving up and down. As adults, they help you prune your trees so you don't even have to get your clippers out. And then when they die, as all things do, they will decompose and add nutrients back to our soil. Are you amazed by cicadas yet? If not, no worries. It'll just be a matter of weeks before they disappear and the next generation goes underground. And until then, be rest assured that they pose no threat to us. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more fun nature videos like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.